Welcome to the Dark Void. There we go. <laughs> This is a beautiful scene, which is probably why it occasionally stops being a scene and becomes a photo. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. <laughs> oh, too slow. Really? Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. What? Well it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. Then by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Are you serious? That's called breaking and entering. No, that's called retrieving our lawfully owned possessions. Why don't we just find Mr. Hackett and have him open it back up? Abby, come on. Our stuff is like three feet away. Mm, sorry. No. As soon as we get back to the lodge, we'll find Mr. Hackett and have him help us get our bets. Fine. I'm uh, It does seem a bit okay, deranged well, when he's right here still. Fine. I'm just gonna do a quick sweep then to make sure we didn't forget anything. Knock yourself out. I'm mean, quick sweep when you can't go inside. So this could be a huge problem later. Given that situation. Like <laughs> This is the, the cabin they dive into to hide. And uh, that's not going to be an option, so enjoy that Chekhov's gun. We'll see if that massively changes things. Alright, so chapter one's evidence is very easy because it's the one I got already. They might all be easy, but this one's just one we already know about. It's obviously pretty missable. You can just not walk right here, but... For Ouch. summer. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. I kind of hope he doesn't come back next year, I guess. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. What is that? Is it Dylan's? Ugh. Why do you think it's Dylan's? Wait. <laughs> My VCR cleaner joke. Is, is has layers. I didn't even know Dylan was gay at that point last time. I've heard he's supposed to be like really obviously gay from how he talks or something, and I'm like, what? He just sounds like he's from California. Ready to roll? Good. Finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> It's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. I'm kind of professionally myself, but louder. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Jinkies? Okay, so... Hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? It's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. He doesn't get it? Yeah, sure. 
but that's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Mwah! <laughs> I forget that they kind of get along. We should really get back. Boo. Thumbs down. I've, everyone's waiting for us. Nick isn't gonna leave without saying goodbye. They like, they like never interact again. Uh. <gasps> did I hit it? Did I hit it? Did I press oh, the wrong? Emma. It's still live. Did I press it wrong? Look good. What do I do? I swear I pressed down. Oh no, we're doing this again? Until Dawn's early game animal murder? Uh, I can't. Abby, it's suffering. Why do they keep having animal death in their games? How did I mess that one up? No, this is, uh... Alright, now just leave it for the campers to find next year. I'm sure this isn't a metaphor for anything else. You would think that the take going the wrong way would be some kind of risk, but going the right way is... There's no right answers in these games. They're trying to make it always a mess. Oh, Jacob, I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hi, we've got some trauma to share. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Where are your bags? Mr. H locked them in the cabin already. <laughs> Why, to keep out bears? Apparently. Well, why didn't you just break in? Okay, because Dylan thinks that would have been a good idea. That confirms we did the right thing. Oof. Ow. I like my ideas. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? I think it's called How to Mind Your Own Business. You should listen to it. <laughs> Ghosts. Ghosts? Yeah, well, all sorts of cryptozoology, really. The, the episode I was listening to is actually about this place. Oh, yeah, yeah, the one that you were talking about to the uh, kids at the campfire. That snark was uh, way I noticeably gayer, actually. Yes. What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's this joke again. Look at us go. It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are, like, reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, 
She'll try to turn you into her son. Or kill you. Or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haga, it's Corey. You made that up. Right here in the podcast, man. Oh, his sleeve. <laughs> cool story, bro. It was freaking out. I am noticing, I did have the thought that like, wait a minute. Does he sound Californian? Or do most of the people I know in California, like are most of the people I know in California gay? Which is true. So, bad data sampling is where I'm going to land. <laughs> Oh, yeah? You got a cooler one? Oh, no, I wasn't being sarcastic. Uh, I didn't really tell it right. Look, no, 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 seriously, dude, I think it just, it came out wrong. Oh, this is really awkward. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Coulda what if our bags weren't locked up? What's that? Sounded like you said, of course, Mr. H. We're on it, Mr. H. Sorry, Mr. Hackett, but our, our bags... Right. Cabin. <laughs> We're really busting our butts here. Well, except Ryan, who's trying to scare the pants off our butts with his weird ghost stories. Okay. Okay. Enough with all the butts. Uh, and what's this about the, ghost the stories? H of H's Q. The hag of Hackett's quarry. I was just... <sighs> For Pete's sake, Ryan. Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, man. I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. I just need some tunes. Are you five. mocking me? <laughs> all right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. He said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just. What a weird, unnecessary conflict. Okay. okay. He's Hackett's a real piece of shit up here. Everyone's like, he's so great. And I'm like, so, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh, I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the. So he walks in without a mug, so that's his other mug? Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. Hello. So fixated on podcasts every second of every day. It's the only thing that makes me feel alive anymore. Dying thing. That's cold. I'm sorry, but you're the one trying to make it about ghosts and shit. That was the episode we just listened to. Speaking of, this is where the reports come in. People claim to hear the sound of burning trees and the pained and yearning whispers of the woman as she still to this day. Sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that, bud. Has it ever occurred? Didn't mean to push you out like that. Uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, uh, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Oh. He's got his own family ties to think about. Dang it. This is just important to me. You know what's important to me, Ryan? Trying to run a successful summer camp. 
still trying to make up for the losses from last year. Uh... Terrified kids are bad for business. Phone calls uh, get from scandalized parents, nightmares, thumb-sucking, bedwetting. Think about that the next time you're flipping some yarn about the, uh, the... The... The Hagger Hackett's... Just think next time, champ. Use the old skull muscle. Skull muscle? He seems like such a dick in this opening that's really hard to believe the idea that he was that liked. But the other choices I made, I think, made him a little more personable last time. But we do know that he's turning into a werewolf today or tonight. So he might be just kind of an unusually shitty person right now. And it's like contextualized in the scene as him being stressed out about the fact that he has to just run everything and stuff's going wrong. Uh, but then he gets, then he overreacts though with the, with the car, like he really overreacts. So then at the point you're like, okay, something's actually like wrong, wrong. We need to, uh Oh, yeah, it was just a fun story. That weirdo kid told me last month. Hey, there's no weirdo here at Hackett's quarry. Everyone's their own brand of cool. You cancelers gotta be the responsible ones. Keep the kids happy. Keep the kids safe. So knock it off. Yeah, of course. I mean, we are. Wait, you're from Detective Pikachu. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Slowly figuring out who people are while refusing to look up ever. <laughs> Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. <laughs> you finish that me. sentence out loud. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? I actually could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. I unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Neither of those characters will be seen alive. Uh, ever. Let's skedaddle. Well, we saw Caleb alive in the chimney that one time. But the, neither of them have neither of them have voice actors or actors really. They're just character models that just hang out. Not that we need to establish even Make more sure people. We're all ready to go for real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure to turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good, because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. Hey, what about our bags? Uh, Emma, I'm gonna have to ship them to you tomorrow. Hell no, no, I am not leaving without- It's the way it's gotta be. Come on, Jacob, start her up. It is a comically short distance to the bags. This doesn't even make sense. That's a problem. <laughs> but he just wants to fuck off. Dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like... kaput. Alright, let me try. Dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing oh, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. The fuck, dude? Enough. Enough. <laughs> Shit. Come on. All right, Come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. Oh, 
Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. We did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Being a bit intense for the adult in the room, man. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. <laughs> okay. I'm cool. This yeah. is cool. This is normal. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. I'm perfect. Oh. Beeped it. Chris doesn't have time for this. Hey, Come here for a sec. Why are we always conspiring? It's getting weird. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Probably would have been good to mention this whole hunting season excuse that the other guy uses, because that was at least something to go on. Like, oh, you're in danger outside because the people who are shooting in the woods would be at least something. But he gives them, like, nothing to go on. Wait, we have to stay inside until tomorrow? Why? Where are you going? Ryan, I need you to trust me. Like I'm trusting you. Can you do that? Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! You're backing up pretty fast with how many people are around. This guy overall does not set a very good first impression. So... What was that about? He, uh... said to stay inside. That we're not leaving until the morning. Are... you kidding me? Um... Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Dylan, no. Or, or we could do something else. What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids, just a bunch of grown ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah! P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? Is the only two that are like all straight laced and being like, maybe this is a gargantuan mistake. Let's see. I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. All right, yeah. No, Artie. I, I, I didn't mean. High five. Touch my hand, Ryan. Touch my hand, Ryan. <laughs> Yeah, God, he really could have explained more before he left. Like, just had any excuse for why it's dangerous outside. Because he didn't even really explain that it's dangerous outside. He fucked up so bad. Fine. Yes, 
Yes. <laughs> I just want to go on record and say that this is a bad oh my idea. God, dude. Ugh. Ugh. The group is impressed with Ryan until one second later, where they're all uh, at him. Trust me. It's gonna be chill. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers, party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby. You will get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. This sounds like a pop song that I know. But I can't. I don't know whose song, whose song it is. <laughs> it's just so recognizable. The sign makes sense narratively, but the physical location of where it's framed is just like... It's just very strange. All well, you kids had to do was stay inside. Maybe. Maybe not. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you've found. Empty handed. Whoops. You need to look around you, find my cards, and I can help you. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. Find them, please. I mean, you want me to be dead. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. I killed a few members of the Hackett family and you were just mad I didn't kill all of them. You don't care about me. We all died listening to you last time. So here we are, stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full body, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. You're just so mean to him. Well. Listen, he's applying a skill. He does succeed. Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. And incomprehensible, frankly. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Yeah! Boom! And scene. Oh, I mean, I could have kicked it. You listened it for me. It worked that time. Won't work next time. Okay. Not unless she's leveling up. So. If I were a beer, where would I be hiding? 
Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. <laughs> he just doubles down. Like, I don't, I don't think it's you understood. Place out. It's beer dar. Mr. H loved his accessories. I think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> oh. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh... What if I talked to... What if I talked about having sex with these? See... You just cut a hole in it? Mm-hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah, it's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay. Why? I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. You had the chance to be someone else and you chose to be this. He looks really sad. <laughs> It's like a Skyrim dungeon. It's like here's the big winding pathway, and then here's the door that comes back to, that leads back to the beginning as a shortcut. <laughs> Here we go. It's a scary horror game now. Wonder where this goes. She really does not like locked doors. Jacob! Come check this out. Oh, uh, alrighty then. Door, buckle up because you are about to meet your maker. Did you just Ace Ventura? Did you just do an Ace Ventura at me? In year of our Lord now. <laughs> Whoa. The fucking mother lad. Good golly, Miss Molly. Actually, is that Ace Ventura the Mask? Morning, I don't know. This place locked up. I think he'll be pissed when we made his stash. What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> human rights, or... Whatever. Sure. Yeah. All right. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. He did oh. legitimately leave you with no food. Hell yeah. In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. I was kind of waiting for the latching door that can lock you in here to come up again in the story later. But it never really did. All right, this chapter's evidence. We were two for two Jacob, at this point. Check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. They look like camping supplies. Oh, okay. Um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Did a bear do this? Oh no. What if I don't bring the gun? Uh, uh. Whoa. What, nothing? My beard art saves the day, but you come back empty handed? Who says I'm done looking? Oh, do you have to bring the gun? It might be a fake choice. <laughs> the gun seems so important to the entire narrative that I'm like, can you even get away without it? No. 
No, yeah. I was gonna say, there's a, there's a gun tutorial on everything. Oh, cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool! And, uh, code. It makes you feel like you're discovering stuff, but you have to find the gun, and you have to find the safe, and you have to find the code. Because you actually discover the safe in the cutscene on the way in. I'm done. <laughs> and the code is with the gun, so you can't not get the code, actually. It felt like an optional thing the first time around. Like, oh, well, look, look at this thing I found through trivial effort. So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah. For bears. Okay. Uh, well, I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. I swear bears is the most common word in the script besides, like, a and two and the and stuff like that. Like, of all the nouns, it might be the thing, the thing said the most in the entire game. It's just bears, 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 bears. In a game with no bears. I want to do, I want to word search the, the entire script. Haha, -ha, I found the shortcut and you did not. This is why you were going home single. All right. All right, they dedicated an entire VC, uh, entire VHS just to hey, very nice. the fireworks. So let's not take them and see what happens. What else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. W oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should. No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. I feel like fireworks are crossing a line. What? But you got a gun. Why can't I have firecrackers? Because the gun is for bear protection, and the fireworks could start a forest fire. <sighs> Stupid forest fires. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Stupid I, forest fires. I found these, like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. Uh, <sighs> oh, dude. Peanut butter butter pops. Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops. What are butter pops? <sighs> no. What? I can't believe it. Um, okay. Um <clears throat> pop pop peanut butter butter pops. <laughs> pop 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 them in your mouth. Pop. Oh my god, they're like the greatest snack of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No. No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing. Like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait. Is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my god, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look. They predate expiration dates. Blah. Well, you're gonna love them. Blah. Oh my god. Oh. Does Caitlin ever actually have any well, of these? I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. I guess that might be why it's called that. It never looks like a... I've never seen one that looks like a barrel, it's though. First. Mm. Yeah. Which way? I'm amused that they set up the wheelbarrow so far in advance just to help carry Nick later. Oh, that's why it's there too, because they they it was here, and then they took they took it there to carry the beer, which seems unnecessary. It's not that much beer. Oh, the watermelons, right? All right, the inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's just make this quick. Sure. Just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. 
Gotta charge up our phones we never Podcasts. use. Yeah. All right. Let me guess. Right now you're listening to one that has eerie music fade-ins and a mysterious demeanor and a broken syllable raspy voice and a mysterious lonely guy in his mom's basement getting hard for Area 51 and Bigfoot. I, I, sorry, not that you're into that stuff. I didn't mean to. Mm, I mean, whatever. I like it anyway. You know, I'd give it a listen. I mean, I don't care either way. No, Ryan, I'm gonna do this for you. What is the podcast called? <laughs> Bizarre yet bona fide. You're trying not to laugh right now because it kind of sounds like boner, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Unbelievable. <laughs> so, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children gonna have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know, he's cool. It's always been cool to me. Dylan is such a mess that he tried to salvage that and tried to smooth it over, but it's like he just completely fucked up. He insulted his podcast by trying to be smart about it or whatever. Is it a raccoon? It is a little raccoon. I, I, will, I think I forgot to point this out last episode, but like, when we listen to that podcast, she was even like, bizarre, but not bona fide. I'm like, exactly! Bizarre, but not bona fide. You reflexively used but instead of yet, because the the podcast should be called Bizarre But Bona Fide, not yet. Yet is awkward as shit. Why is that in the title? What is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> Yeah, I guess it goes to the basement. Huh. But why would Mr. H have a secret trap door in his office that goes to the basement? Maybe it was here before this was his office. He's like a million years old. This has always been his office. <laughs> it's probably for storage. Yeah, or so that he can make a quick getaway when the heat comes down. Uh, okay. Or it's for storage. Go ahead, open it up. All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so. You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. Eh, on second thought, I'd rather not know what Mr. H is into. It's more mysterious that way. Sure. I think it can kill Abby. It's a nice chair, I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> like it's hard to say, but I I think I think the broken the broken ladder would have been bad for Abby if Abby was actually in danger. Like maybe there's an alternate version of that scene where she's being chased in the basement, but instead she just awkwardly breaks a ladder. And it's like, okay. And then she steps over that part. And that's the entire payoff. But there's a whole VC, uh, VHS... I'm just, I keep saying VCR. There's a whole VHS... T VHS... T v VH... <laughs> I broke. It's over. There's a whole VHS tape just dedicated to that one thing exclusively. So it's like... Presumably that's not completely pointless. So... I maybe am saving her life now if that scene goes differently this time. Otherwise, she probably dies in that scene. I don't know. Come on, he's not good now. Okay, just be careful. What do you think I'm gonna do? Break it? Come on. Oh. <sighs> you did it. That's a design flaw. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Here's my scary journal. Oh. Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Goobers remains a pretty good word. It needs to be preserved for posterity. Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. <laughs> Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's, you're not a little bit curious. I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine, don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but. <laughs> I will never catch keys in this playthrough. <laughs> I beefed it. It's a good face. <laughs> that was a good face. I don't play sports. Huh. Should I just not discover that back room this time? Maybe. We could find out if she discovers it herself or not. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun. Or I make it impossible for her to give the silver shell to Caitlin. Can't you, like, speed it up at all? I can try to encourage them. Go for it! You guys can do it! It's not working. <laughs> so we're gonna have to wait. Look at you go! Wow! I incredible! I love you! So... Got anything going on when you get back home? School, or...? Uh... Jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Boyfriend? <laughs> Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Are the, uh, phones... Uh, they could probably use a little while longer. Ah. Okay. There's such tiny details, like you can just barely make out that he's wearing a tank top for, like... Is he? No, those are just wrinkles, maybe. I thought he was wearing, like, a... The thing that's distressingly called a wife beater for some reason. But that might just be two specific wrinkles. Ah, is this a mandatory exploration section? Is it mysteriously full the moment you find the back room, actually? Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. So reclusive that we never see or hear from them in the entire game. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris... Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to... Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. There's just something very funny to me about there being like a white outdoorsy guy named Chris. Because when I, when I was in my geology major, we hit a point where like, it, it started off as basically just being one class of people. So every time you got further into the classes, a few people would disappear. 
and there's just less people now. Like, you're not going to have new people joining because it's a linear sequence of classes, mostly. And uh, it, just, it just wasn't a popular major. Um, in fact, pretty much everybody in the geology major switched there from another major. Like, they, it was everybody's second choice, <laughs> uh, including mine. I was there from computer science. But we had three Chris's out of 20 people. There were three people named Chris. <laughs> it's too many Chris's. <laughs> it's very confusing. Dude, we're gonna be out partying in the woods tonight, all right? What if the bears try to crash? Okay, it, it's it's like my mom always said, if you want to party, you gotta bring protection. Oh. Well, I think that she was talking about condoms. I'm not gonna fuck a bear. <laughs> The most dangerous thing I've seen in these woods is a pissed off squirrel. That sounds pretty scary. Okay, fine. Well, we know where the gun is, if we need it. Sounds pretty Here scary. Go. So far, a squirrel is the only casualty on the board. Chris... Oh, Abby... Aw, oh, some kid drew Chris and Abigail. You can see, like, the whole thing they did all semester, or all this month at least, not last month. Because it was two months, right? I swear they said it was two months. That's why I'm so confused about the summer that ha the 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 mo mo the full moon that had to happen in the middle. So, if you do go to school in the fall, have you, like... Picked out a major, or I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to talk about right now. Oh, have you not decided what you're gonna do with your life? Hey, are the phones done yet? <laughs> you got a little cross-eyed there. Hey, so did I tell you, dude? Right. Oh. I am officially getting on his nerves at this point. No. <laughs> that just made things sad. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're getting around with this. I think this is extremely unoptional. It, it's worth poking around and seeing how it goes, though. Fashion icon. <laughs> Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Uh, Brian? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like, uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. So, okay, I'm going to upgrade Mr. H from super creepy pervert with a spy cam to, you know, super crazy conspiracy hunter. D to be fair, Bigfoot's not a conspiracy. Okay, fine. How about an aspiring cryptozoologist? Hey, he knew that Likes word. The podcast that you listen to. Sure, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's major league yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but... It, it's It's gotta be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's, it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. <laughs> Was it through right. secret room that we got into uh, yeah, via the, the locked door? Layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. Get spooked by the man that you never mention after this, when you probably should. Uh, 
Ryan likes him a lot less this run. What was that? It's old man Jenkins. He's here. He's here to get you kids off his land because of the property values in the. He's dressed as an older man, Jenkins. It's his disguise. <laughs> Never let me speak again. Huh. Why is that one sideways? Why would post the postcards are just side? Why would you do that? They're just annoying to look at. at that point, can I keep going this way? Nope. It looks like, if you look at the back wall, it looks like there's like a hallway going that way more. But not so much. So this is the, yeah, that's the trigger for our, our us suddenly having 28% charge. Nice. Full up. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool. Let's go. Thank you. Now we'll just have a heaping case of uh, the try not to dies. Good luck. Have fun.